Hello everybody, another day, another watch review. Um, today I would like to share my experience with the TVs or device watches, which I had more than one week on my wrist. And because I was so excited with this Chinese lady over here, I decided to buy another one, her twin sister. Not exactly twins, but um, pretty similar. So for today, I would like to show you the differences of both models. And um, I would like to spend some time on talking about quality. So as you know, probably from some other videos on YouTube and my former video, um, the TV's device Chinese made watch is a real bargain. You can get it for 15 to 20 euros or US dollar in the internet. Um, Gearbest is one of the sources, but you can also order it directly from this Chinese brand, free shipment internationally. So um, shipment does not make any difference on the price. So I have been pretty amazed by um, price value ratio of this device watch. So I thought I get a little bit more fancy model too. So this two-tone model over here. Um, and I found some differences in comparison to the um, stainless steel only model with the black dial. So one of the most obvious differences is the clasp over here. So that's more um, submariner style, Rolex style, for sure not that stable, but nevertheless, it's a similar concept. So there's the TV's logo laser etched on, on this small clasp over here. Um, personal, personally, I prefer this mechanism in comparison to, to this mechanism over here. They're both not really good quality, but um, nevertheless, um, I like this more traditional handling over here. So here we go. The next difference between both models can be seen when we have a closer look at the end links. All right, here we go. So the stainless steel model has a pretty nice end link um, in line with the, um, with the housing of the watch, with the case of the watch. Having an in-depth look or detailed look here you see that this end link is smaller than um, the one found on the stainless steel version. Actually, I don't like that um, as much as I like the end link version on the stainless steel model. Anyway, that's not a huge difference, but it's a difference. Persistent. Uh, Precision of both watches is almost the same. So it's about plus 20 seconds with mine models. And I think this is within the tolerances of the TV's brand. Actually a pretty good value if you compare that to um, some Psycho watches or um, other brands. What I found out that the power reserve is not that good. So even if you wear the watch the whole day, uh, it will not last overnight, at least my both versions. So what I found in the internet, and it was really a good recommendation, um, I do some manual winding before I go to bed, so 10 times, 15 times, and then the watch is still running on the next day without any issue. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, there's a kind of complaint here with the two-tone version, so the the bezel, um, it's kind of gold cold, uh, coated, but um, I think they did not do the drilling or milling over here since these edges are quite sharp. Bezel action is, is okay, now it gets sticky, some more pressure. And now it's get, gets easy again. So the bezel action is not as smooth 
as with the um, stainless steel version. There is play in the bezel for sure, but it's within the tolerances I would claim. In comparison, the bezel action with the stainless steel model sounds much better. There is no blocking, no locking. Also here we have play, but that's it. Um, what I found out uh, after having the watch on, on the wrist for a time, it was a brand new watch and it had already a dent over here. So um, that's the TV's quality control. This one is much better with regard to, to the dents. Um, yeah, that was my short and brief review and I can really recommend you to go with that watch. So if you're interested in mechanical watches, if you want to have a, a fashion watch, a real beater, um, well, you should go with an ice watch or um, with something quartz. If you can have a mechanical watch for 15 bucks um, and it's not an, a real deal breaker or a disaster if you destroy this watch. Um, but so far they're running fine. And yeah, go for one. Make your own experience. Goodbye, have a nice day and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.